Hello everybody, Sifter again, and today I will be trying Power Chord. The game is a hard game roguelike with, uh, I guess, uh, music as the theme, and also you build a team up, so it's not just you have one character, you have four characters. That's pretty much the gist of it. I mean, I got early access to it, so might as well try it, why not? So I played a bit, so let's go back to a new game. It says to go through the tutorial. Let's say yes, because uh, tutorial is not really tutorialized, so it's it's not really something complex here. As you see, this is a team. Uh, defensive drummers, those are the defensive characters, I guess. Destructive bassists, those are the AOE guys. Purple to rain down attacks over the entire band. So purple is AOE, blue is defense here, the drummers. The support singers, the singers are support pretty much. They heal and they buff, etc. And then focused get traits, those are the single damage units. So they single damage attack pretty much. Uh, I'm forced to use some very specific characters here. I'm not sure if it's about the demo because of the demo or because I didn't win once. But uh, we got here this guy. He starts with some cards and also with some equipment. Really, and these are also their stats. Uh, the shield you see here means that they can take up to that much damage before they start losing real life. And that refreshes once every fight. So at the end of the fight, he will go back to 5 and he will go back to 10. So my first character's card is deal two damage, uh, 1 damage twice. Or give 5, 3 armor to an ally. And also give a barrier to my allies, my friends. Uh, that's a passive pretty much, so uh, I draw a card every turn that gives us barrier. I will explain in the fight what's happening, but I want to go through the cards here real quickly. This guy does randomly 2 damage or randomly three, 1 damage 3 times. That's uh, that's the AoE guy, and his passive is that he does corrosion. Corrosion will reduce the enemy armor. If they also have armor, it will reduce it. It's like a poison, but only for armor. Then the single target guy can do 2 damage and 3 damage. Rage damage though. Rage damage uh, actually has to do with his passive. His passive is then when something attacks him, not uh, not, when, not when he loses life, but when, when he just gets attacked, uh, he will gain rage, and that rage, as you can see here, uh, does one more damage, uh, does add damage to rage damage attacks. So that's that. He stacks up rage, and then you do a big payoff. And then the, the support here uh, has a four damage done and four damage healed attack. She can give somebody two power. Two power means that they do two more damage. That really combos up with this guy who does a lot of small attacks. And then uh, she has stitches, which is every time she buffs somebody, she gains one armor. And uh, that's it pretty much. By the way, as far as I see, she is the only one that has a rear attack. Either way, let's get started. Tonight, one chance only. Power Coid, the Devils versus Legion of Demons featuring Certain Doom. And uh, yeah, I mean, the first thing we should obviously do is see where we want to go. I guess we would like to go to chests, and uh, this is the only chest we can get after the first one. Two elites back to back. I don't know what elites actually do. The only thing, I don't even know what things cost in shops. I only arrived somewhere around here to start a new run. I think I'm gonna go to, here to the top, and if something goes sideways, we'll go healing, otherwise we go fighting, and then elite, elite, and uh, this thing, and somewhere around here is the boss. So off we go. Let's go into the first fight. I hope it's gonna actually give us info about the enemies because when I started this, I was getting info about the enemies. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Well, that's a one time thing, and I don't know if we can reset it. Um, yeah, the hand you dealt. Pick a target and drop your cards into the enemies, and that's it. Pretty much combo your cards to do some damage. Mind readers, so we know what the enemies will do. That's it, pretty much. And that's it. So, uh, well, I can't go back to it because I don't know how to exactly reset everything. I didn't see anything in the options, but uh, the enemies, uh, and if you fight them for the first time, it shows you like, this is just a grunt and this is a this is an enemy that does poison or sort of stuff like that. But these are just grunts. They just do three damage every turn on one character. So I was talking about the barrier. He, every single turn, he will give us this barrier card, which is that a single point of, not a single attack is fully blocked. So if something's doing 10 to us, I play this barrier and we take zero. And it's character based. So right now I would say, let's make this guy take zero. This guy has three armor, so might as well let him do what he can, what he wants. And uh, I guess we go for damage. So actually, you know what? I should start blocking stuff. We can go for damage slowly, slow and steady wins the race. Let's go with one damage to a person. Actually, let's just go with four damage to a person. Reason being is because instead of playing one energy, by the way, this is the energy we have. We have zero energy right now. We get four every turn. Then we will now do attack. There are some awesome animations in this game. I'm blocked and it goes back to us. Health and armor. Your armor fills after each battle. You want, uh, but the health does not refill until I go to rest or if I use the healing ability that she has. 
on herself, obviously. They are doing the same thing. So we do the same thing. I mean, we play barrier here. This time I don't actually have that. The, um, the armor for him. So we go with power charges on the guy that has a triple attack. Now his triple attack does three damage three times. Insane. Uh, we just throw it wherever and it is random. So it does three, three, three. You see here corrosion uh, deals armor damage. So that's pretty much useless right now. And then we go with four damage to random person. And next turn we should start picking them off slowly. This guy takes three, but he has armor. This tag takes zero because he blocked. Okay. Uh, they are doing three and three to the back line, which we don't care because it's 10 armor, so might as well go for damage. By the way, the charge damage, the charge, um, the power goes down one per turn, so he still does more damage, but I didn't draw a single card for him. I did draw a card for him, so might as well boost. Uh, there's no reason to boost him. Boost myself. He does, he does 2 damage to the person with 2 life. And she does four, 6 damage to the person with 5 life. And we beat the fight. Not all fights are going to be that easy. And um, I think enemies at some point do so much damage at the same round that you can actually not um, block everything. You will take damage at some point. You're going to need to build charges to gain any momentum in a fight. And they count down 1 per turn. Now we get the choice to 0... Zero cost, gain two power charges. This is only to himself. One mana, epic attack. Deal one damage and add two weakness charges to an enemy. That makes him do two less. This is really good. And an epic support, which is destroy a single ally's barrier and add three power charges for each destroyed. No, I'm not going to go with anti-tank. Let's go with this. Deals one damage and also two weakness. Two weakness will be good if an enemy does like something. Something like AoE, do two to everybody. He will do zero to everybody. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. So the new enemies now, the enemies also have a singer, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't know what exactly everybody can do, but they also have passive sometimes. Deal 3 damage to the attacker if the character or any of its allies is killed. Uh, as far as I know, this does not work after the fight. You see he's about to buff his ally and he's about to do 2 damage to my to this guy. Uh, I would say let's do a curse, making it literally 0. Should I buff myself before I curse? Should buff myself before I curse? Or I can just buff my singer. And I would like to do better. So we go Chris here. No, it's at zero. We buff the singer. Uh, four damage to something random. Yep, now this corrosion will stack this down. And also apply barrier over to... Let's apply to the singer for future proof. You know, this does not go away until it's consumed. Yep, zero damage. And now he buffs. Enemies do things in turn order. He buffed himself. Yeah, it was showing himself actually. He does 6. He does still 0. And as I said, that's why I picked that up. He does 6. Uh, block yourself. 6 damage is a lot. Just block it. He does 2 damage 3 times. Apply some corrosion here and there. Uh, this armor will slowly go down. Uh, 4 age damage is something we could do. Or we can just future proof once again. Give armor to an ally. I don't know if I should future proof. Now let's just go through with damage. He has 6 life. There is a high chance we instantly beat him. He does 0. And he does also 0 because it blocked. He does 5 to the third person. Well, and he does 2 to the last one. Well, uh, we block the 5. We make him do almost nothing. And uh, might as well go for a buff on the guitarist for the next round. Whenever she buffs, she gains an armor. This is really slow, but it is what it is. And turn. Is this animation that he will heal? I think this animation means that he will heal. Yep, he did heal from that. Although he didn't do damage, but he did heal. It is what it is. One damage there and four damage plus heal. The only thing I really need to do is destroy this guy. So buff him. Four damage three times randomly. Let's go. The numbers are really low, but at least you can easily calculate. And let's also go for a kill here. And that would be it. Let's go on. Oh no, the music! The music was too strong, too powerful. And here we got stances. Stance card effects last until broken by taking health damage or changing another stance. I like this, by the way. Uh, obviously, taking damage is not a good choice ever, but I like the mechanic here. Uh, these are pretty much permanent un until, as I said, until uh, you t either take damage or you cancel it. So th this makes it so he permanently does one damage whenever my uh, allies, um, whenever my allies use a move. This is just block permanently. And uh, this is gain one rage each time this character does health damage. So this is more damage when he damages. I will go with this. 
I like the purple person just raining down damage on everybody. Although he doesn't have any shielding in the beginning. Let's go top. As I said, and let's hope there is something awesome in the chest. Our triple team. By the way, when they have like huge guitars like this, I think they're bassists. Actually, you should be able I should just look into the strings. If there are like four strings, it means it's a bass, and bass is AoE. As you see, he does actually AoE. That's why we picked this up. That's literally why we picked this up. Now he will do literally whoop, zero damage. Zero damage. And he's about to shield, I guess. I don't know what this guy is and why he's shielding. Uh, we're about to take zero. I would say block here. Now I would say block. I should always block when I get the chance. And uh, let's go with the random damage. Or should I kill the front guy? Uh, not kill, damage. Let's go with random damage because it applies corrosion and might as well do some damage to the front line. Yep, blocked. Guitar. Zero, 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 and you give rage to him. Very nice. What is this now? This is the character is guarding another, and this is this character is being guarded. Well, um, I was gonna try to kill this guy either way. Put damage to the back, I don't care. Plus, get power, I guess, and uh, I don't know what the stars are. Uh, so this guy is pretty safe, right? If we kill the front line. Can I kill the front line? Well, I got barrier, so we go music. We go power charge. I don't think music will actually play. And we go block. And turn. He takes nothing. Takes nothing. Now he's also in a stance. Everybody's in a stance. What is your stance? You in two power charges at the start of the turn. And he's gonna do two to everything. Um, first of all, we go with this. Because the bass attacking everybody for one is really not a good thing. Now you see the star the, he also starts shooting out whenever I do something. Um, I'm thinking about doing two defensive stuff. So we play this for sure, first of all, because it's the highest DPS we have. Very nice, he stopped his stance, he also stopped his stance. And um, I would say we go block block. I could either go random damage or block block. I think block block is a bit safer. So let's go with barrier here and also block. And the turn. Now the three hit is gonna get blocked here and the six is gonna go through the barrier. Not through, to the barrier. And this guy is continually getting stacks. Now when we get the big payoff attack, which is here, seven damage instantly. And uh, if we're a bit lucky, this guy might roll a good attack onto him and we will be done. This is useless. Let's go with power charge first though, regardless of what's gonna happen. Let's go here. Let's see where the music note goes. It's exactly, what a snipe, what a mad lad. Uh, the backline takes one, but we don't care. We will barrier here. And we pass. So he does only one to the back, seven blocked. One to the back blocked, he is still in his stance. I'm excited to see what will happen if everybody's in stance. Um, I mean, this guy's doing eight. We have the barrier for that. Let's play this as this is happening no matter what. Let's try to get a kill on the last one. Music. Music did not hit him. Mm, let's go for the sure kill. Actually, no. Let's go for the DP. No, let's go for the sure kill. Now oh, this guy's gonna have music. Wait a minute. Do double attacks trigger this twice? That's something I should check. I should check if double hits count twice. Uh, he's just doing 9 to the back, who cares. Strengthen this guy up. Uh, throw the dice and we won. Plus this, and it's over. Easy win, let's go on. Music! Victory! Exactly. And we get Berserker, stance, gain 1 power charge each time this character takes armor damage. Attack, deal 2 damage to a single enemy, and draw plus 1 card next turn. I mean, it's better than the one we have, the ones we have. And the defensive stance. Guard the single ally and gain 4 armor. Remains active until health damage is taken or new stance is applied. And gain 4 armor. So this is gonna make somebody literally... I mean, this is really good with, uh, with uh, this guy, right? I guess we should go for the defender stance. Making it so all the damage gets amassed onto one character. Power charge you times character takes armor damage. Eh. Eh. You'll do damage to a single enemy and draw one card next turn. I mean, card draw, is that really important right now? Go with this. 
I'm not sure. I don't even know what, how many cards exist and what you can do in this game. Maybe there is like a Thorns build. Retaliation damage. And we get an item. Attack steal minus one damage and apply plus one instability chargers per hit. Increase damage received per hit. Okay. Uh, minus one damage and apply one instability. I mean, that would be helpful for him, right? Because he, first of all, he doesn't attack often. And he has like one only one thing that attacks. And it attacks twice for z one. So it would become twice for zero. But it's not going to be twice for zero. It's going to be, the first one's going to be zero. And the second one's going to be one. I hope. I hope that how th that's how it works. I'm going to take the risk. And YOLO it. Let's go on with our fight. Okay, the enemy is a whole crew. Sorry, I clicked and I we weren't. Fa uh, sorry that I clicked and we didn't see what they do. And this guy is applying instability. This guy's powering up. Yeah, we just have arrived at the point where the enemies are almost forcing us to take some damage here. Are they though? He's the, the only thing I have to block is this. So I can do. Theoretically speaking, I can do stance. I can do barrier. No, 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 no. I can do defender stance. Okay, he's defending him forever. I can do barrier on the front. For two. Actually, no, I would armor the front. Yeah, armor the front is better. Because it's gonna keep the armor for the for later. Obviously, it would be good to bury himself. But otherwise, she will take damage. And I don't really want her to take damage. So let's go here. And let's uh, pass. Let's see how this exactly will play out. Four. He took two. He blocked four. She took... Yeah, she took... Everything's good. Everything's good. Now they start buffing. Now maybe there's a chance to do something. This guy's doing a lot. Uh, support. Support and dice. He can block. She's taking too much. She, this is one damage. Who cares? Uh, let's go with... First of all, I think I don't have armor. Hmm. Hmm. I was thinking about doing augment on him. This will give her one armor. And then barrier. I can't really do anything real, really here. Augment on him is almost definitely happening. She. Okay, she just got one armor. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can just barrier. I can't really do anything for her. So we barrier. You know what I want to do? I want to see this, how this works exactly. So let's go for the AoE guy, which is my problem right now. I want to see, is this going to be a 0-1? And is this guy going to shoot twice? Once, twice. Yeah, he actually does shoot twice. Nice. Okay, and he actually did the damage, so that's nice. And now we will do some AoE randomly. 5 damage in the middle, nice. We take a hit, but it's okay. As I said, we were gonna get a hit, and this character is the best one to get hit, actually, because uh, she she has healing. She has self-healing. This guy's in a stance. Is he blocked or is he blocking? He's guarding. Okay, he will die. Six damage to four. 17? What are you guys doing? Are you guys insane? Cards played by this character are played twice. Aha. Uh -huh. That's where this damage is coming from. I have to break that stance, obviously. Um... Power up this guy, one. Two, play this on him to break the stance. Three, I guess barrier and shielding. I mean, these are pretty decent here. First of all, we power up this guy. Now oh, he has three damage. I would say let's go... Oh, the, the stance will not break because he has too much... Well, we're pretty much toast. Let's hope that this guy randomly dies. Nope, we didn't get a hit on him. Well, we're about to take a lot of hits. Should I do two damage to him? I mean, he's just doing one damage. He's literally not doing anything. And this guy has too much shield. A shield. Yeah, we go with barrier and armor. She's gonna take a lot. Like, a lot of damage here. Locked. Yeah, took one. Took five. Took another five. Took another four. It's okay, though. Because as I said, said she has healing. Here's the healing. Zero damage. Okay, it's not okay anymore. Um, Need to kill this thing. Go for the random dice rolls. See what happens. And then I will do rage damage in a bit. 
Okay, we got a kill. We need to break this guy's stance right now. Or we can kill this guy. I think killing this guy is better. We didn't get a random roll. Well, I guess we blocked the six. I don't even know what happens. When, uh, when you go down to zero. We break the six. We take four and four. This guy still hasn't gotten the life damage. Okay. Okay. Now's the time to break his stance. This is a one mana stance, give four armor to yourself pretty much. Okay, first of all, this thing is going to make the last person do zero. So, first we augment this guy. Then we go here, he's gonna do zero. Okay, we got a kill. Uh, I guess we block. That other guy is doing zero, so we go here, and we go here. Okay, we got him. Stance broken at long last. Nope. Nope. What? But he was doing zero. Oh, 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 oh. I was taking more damage. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. Although I cannot heal him. She's still doing too little. Well, um, he's about to buff, so I guess we go for the back line. We go here to life. Start healing her. Nice. Block everything that's coming in. And uh, go for three random dice rolls. If one hits the back, we win. It hit them. Nice. Pass. Now I should just farm a bit. Four damage twice. Twice, right? This is twice. Yep. Um, let's go with the lowest possible damage. Lowest possible damage. Uh, actually, I can just block everything. Yeah, I have one barrier. Yeah, I'm blocking everything. Pass. I will try to heal at least one more time, you know. At least one more. Wait, she took damage? No, she had armor. Okay, augment. For damage. And heal for six. Four for four, depending on how the game calculates stuff like that. That was a harder fight. Get one power charge and add one armor. That's really nice. For zero, one power charge, the damage and armor is heal. Get one power charge each time a catalyst is played. The stance. No, I'm not gonna change the stance. I like the stance. We have rare, rare support. Add four free barrier cards in your hand. And exhaust it. The barrier is the... Yeah, the barrier is the... You take zero. I like this. The reason I like this is because barrier uh, stays forever in this game. So I can just place a bunch of barrier on the, te on the team. So it's a two mana. Just place four barriers. Let's go to the shop and see the costs. Burn the card. 75. We always like that in games. Apply three corrosion when applying a debuff. That's good for the support. Uh, random ta this these things go to units by the way could do go to the team no not to the team to one person of the team random target abilities always hit the same target after the first hit okay uh that is good though this character abilities provide one more charge uh does that count as negative and positive because if it's negative and positive i should actually give this to the the singer 110 epic stance allies gain one health each time they do health damage to their enemy and then you exhaust and you can play it again three costs a bit expensive the five health damage to single enemy this purses health damage mean it purses shielding deal four damage to single enemy gain two rage charges and this is stance uh, prevent debuffs affecting ally team eh. i would like this on my support or um, or this on the guitarist. I think I'm gonna go with this on the support. So she overall becomes better. Especially with debuffing. Now let's go on. The lead singer. Uh, lead or shop? I would say elite, elite free gear. <laughs> and we're gonna die. Well, if we die, we die. I mean, I'm not perfect in all games I play. 
and I'm always pushing my luck with stuff like that, so let's push the luck as, as luck as it goes. As far as it goes. Nah, this is what it shows you when you find something new. A spotlight, the bodyguard, a spotlight stealing armor brute that never saw a beat they didn't want to take. And the berserker, an, the aggressive, an aggressive guitarist that makes that takes every opportunity to strike fast and hard with no regards for his own safety. Okay. Uh, okay, this is the bodyguard, and this is the where, where's the crazy guitarist? It's either this or this. I'm guessing it's this because this looks like a bass to me. This is the singer, this is the bassist, this is the drummer, I guess, and this is the bassist. Bassist, singer, uh, guitarist. Either way, uh, I think I should set up my light show, right? And also my 42 k No. Oh, I don't have the debuff. Well, this guy's gonna pop some things. Um, light show, barrier this guy. And uh, she should just attack. Actually, I don't have... I can't attack right now. I don't want to bury one life. But I don't have enough mana. I don't think I can play the light show. That's a main problem. Because if I play light show and barrier, then I cannot play this. She's going to take two. I mean, might as well, right? Might as well start doing damage. Look how much shielding these guys have. Yeah, let's start. Is this deal damage to an enemy? Gain up to four health if damage is dealt. If health damage is dealt. Okay, this is not healing. Forget it. Okay, we go shield here. We go here. And we go here. And we pass. Block the two damage. He has four corrosion now. I don't know what happens when I lose one. Uh, now I hope this applies three. Three charges. Make him do two da and zero damage. Four damage twice? Are you insane? Four damage twice? That's the aggressive, uh, the aggressive guy, I guess. Mm, okay, I'm thinking about doing one, two to the front guy and then make him do three less damage. And then like give armor to this guy. And then uh, that's it pretty much. The backline's gonna take some damage, but that's it. Now, let's see how this goes. Corrosion works. Yeah, but I don't know if it works. Does this work at the end of my turn or at the start of my turn? If this works at the end of my turn, then I'm, I'm, I'm forced to take a bunch of damage here. Uh, yeah, I guess first of all, this is this is definitely happening. By the way, everybody's attacking the second person. Okay, it is actually three stacks. Uh, let's go with a barrier. Let's go with a shield. And I should have actually gone with 1-2, which uh, I didn't think about, but uh, maybe I should apply just 3 Corrosion randomly, split among enemies. Uh, yeah, let's split Corrosion. They have so, more ar so much armor right now. So if I'm gonna pass as a Corrosion, instantly gonna break this down. No, seems like Corrosion starts uh, happens at the start of the turn. And he... He got hit and lost the stance. We're taking a lot of damage here, man. Game's not easy. It's okay, though, obviously. Buff, damage, damage the front line. Stop damaging the front line so much. This guy isn't even in his stance anymore. Uh, what is coming in? Disarm. Does disarm affect... Uh, do charges affect only damage? Reduce damage. Okay. So we go protect her. Nice. Uh, power charge yourself. And we lost the stance. Losing the stance is really bad. Let's apply this to him. Let's apply this to himself. Power charges are important. Well, let's give the power charges to him. And let's apply armor to himself. I will need the stance to do some damage. Man, these, these guys have so much armor. Okay, nope. Nope. And he has a stance, and the stance is into armor when guarding an ally. Oh, the stance is that he blocks, right? This character is guarding another, and he's guarding who? Uh oh, the DPS. Whoops, we got a real problem now. Uh, 
Everything is going to the front. <laughs> These guys are insane. I think I will start placing some barriers. Man, the same combo just appeared again. This guy's about to take two. This will get disabled from the Chris attack. I can do one, two. And he will take five, which he can block theoretically. But practically, she's taking nine. So she, he's taking a lot more than written. So we go with a bunch of shields. Nice. Here you go. Shield. Shield. Uh, let's not forget this, by the way. Thank you. One damage is not really that important. And she already has a shield. Uh, continue. Shield yourself. Shield um, her once. Shield him one more time. I might be playing this wrong because I'm not uh, attacking enough. That might be the case. He lost all his shields. Ooh, we're taking so much damage. The, the barrier... Oh, man. We might die here. We might die on one elite. And I think I forced myself into double elite fight or something stupid like that. Uh, she has one shield. This is attacking her twice. Mm, zero, one. I guess everything's going to him. Well, uh, play your damage. Okay, everything go uh, went on to him. Uh, defender her. Barrier yourself. Two damage is not really that bad. And uh, apply some debuffs, I guess. Should get redirected, yep. Dang it, should have should have maybe started with a debuff. Blocked. Blocked. He shielded the team? Wow, we're never going through this. We were never beating this man. Never. This is unbeatable for us. Uh I guess I should go full on DPS. I don't see a way to go get through this. We're taking too much damage. We're taking too much everything. Is anybody attacking the second person? This guy is. I could go Bass. Is only he attacking? No, the, the backline is too. Of course the backline is too. Oh, you know what? I can go here. And here. Wait, what? Why did he not? What? In three armor, maintaining nine stance. He has minus four damage dealt. How does he still do two? I don't understand how he still does two, man. Oh, because uh, because he has instability, I guess. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, stance is over. Whole plan fell apart. Whole plan fell apart. Let her take the hit. Who is attacking you, by the way? This guy twice. Man, enemies attacking us twice is really bad. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's uh, barrier yourself. Let's guard her. And this. This fight. I think we're losing. I think we will lose. I'm sorry, but it's fact. The enemies overall, the enemies do more than us. We we cannot, in one turn, we cannot do four damage twice, do two damage again, and then do again two damage, and then also uh, shield or protect somebody. We can't do so much stuff in one turn. We we cannot do that. I don't know why the enemies can do that. Most In most games, enemies do like one big thing. And you either counter it or you try to kill them. In this game, they seem to do everything you do, but better. So uh, it's either a race and you sacrifice life, or if you play slow, you lose, I guess. Obviously, I don't know the meta of this game, so... That's why all these misplays are happening, I guess. Uh, let's puff. You know, let's go DPS. Let's go damage. Let's go full-on damage. Shoot him, shoot him. Three times, come on. What? That was it? Okay, that was not good. Continue doing damage. This guy now has the... It says, gain one power charge each time the character takes armor damage. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we dead. 
Oh, we dead. Blocked and took two. Yep. Yep. Let's see what happens when we lose. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Can we kill at least one? I guess I should have killed the backline first. Which is still negative damage and still does damage. He was doing damage every single turn from the get-go. Ah, three damage times two coming in. I guess I need to save the basses, the this guy. And I like how they are attacking exactly the people that I don't want them to. Like on the spot. I guess I'm forced to use this. Which I can't use on him because it's gonna go on him. You know what? Let's actually throw it onto him. Why not? Here, you do this damage. Block. How much is he taking? 11. Is this is this correct calculation? I don't think it's a correct calculation. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. Let's see if it's a correct calculation. Blocked and took three. Nope, it was not the correct calculation. The calculation doesn't even take into account my own uh, my own debuff. Ins Whoa, we're metal here. Fatigue, unplayable, summoned. Disappears from the deck at the end of the battle. Okay. Okay. Guys, we're dead. We are losing here. You know, maybe the big mistake was trying to play the random cards. Maybe I should have full on gone with the drum, the the guitarist. First time we're actually doing damage. Uh, yeah, let's go here. Okay, I got it. You gain power. Uh, let's maybe try to kill the tank off. Pass. I should have gone full offense. It's okay though. It's okay. I mean, first time playing the game, might as well lose. <laughs> Not something I do often, though, mind you. Ah, uh, look at this! Are you insane? Six damage, three damage, two times, two damage, zero. Okay, at least he's not doing anything. What is this once again? Gain three armor and taking any stance. I guess I'm forced to do this, but uh, oh, he's not. Uh, he doesn't have protection anymore. Well, if he doesn't have protection, first of all, let's begin with this. Yeah, you gain more power. I uh, was thinking about doing 8 damage and one-shotting him. He's doing 0. No, I have to curse. Can I break the stance? I can't even break the stance, man. Uh, heal for 4. There's no need to kill this guy. Pass. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, 2. Oh, he got damage. Very nice. Maybe I should have killed him. Maybe I should have killed him. Well, at least now I have insane amounts of damage. If I draw the same card again. Which I did not. Uh, t -t 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 -t. I guess we go for power. And uh, at this point, we just roll the dice. The dice did not hit what I wanted it to. He's not taking damage, so... 7 damage kills one of the three. One of the three will die. Okay, we got one hidden. Buff. Yep, damage. And shield buff. I think it's too late though. I think now we can control the match. Okay, he has so much damage that we go here. We go here. Am I allowed to announce that I, I made a huge mistake? Yeah, I made a huge mistake. I should have played this. Okay, this was my misplay. I have to agree that this was definitely my misplay. This was not the game being hard. This was nothing other than my mistake. Before this, though, I think the game was a bit too hard. Uh, well, let's give power to the do musician. Let's go here. Okay, at long last, we actually won. Let's see what happens with the units you lose. This fight, man, is this lasted a bit too long for my liking. You know what? I think that enemies should not start with 15 or 20 armor. They should let us literally smash through them. I, although they were elites. This character does plus one damage and takes plus one damage on all attacks. 
uh, here where we have arrived. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well make the guy who does triple attacks. <laughs> we are into a forced elite fight. Go here. We lose. We lose. It's okay though. It's fun. It's fun. The game seems a bit too hard to, for my liking, but uh, once again, it's it's okay. We got another drummer here. That's a new drummer. Backing minion. Uh, the scrawny drummer will keep the fight going all night by storing its allies' armor. 5 8. What is this little pentagram? Token of power. Grant one power charge to random ally at the start of each turn. Are you insane? This guy gets three armor when entering a stance. Okay. Uh. He's about to buff the third person, and he's about to shield the third person. Okay, we try to rush this guy down. He's taking two damage, so playing this does not make sense. So, um, yeah, because I don't have... Wow, without blocking, he whenever enemies attack him, he will take the hit. Here we go with this. Very nice. What? 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 I just understood... Man, okay, the wording here, okay, let's let's say something. Most of the time I'm blind, and a lot of times I don't read stuff correctly, but this thing, I read it correctly, and it is badly worded in my opinion. This character does one damage and takes one damage on all attacks. Um, it should be something like, and inflicts one damage on himself, or, take, or uh, takes one damage whenever he deals damage, or something that indicates that he himself is actually making it. I mean, now that I now that I took the damage, I can understand that this could be interpreted as if it's doing self damage, but it's not completely clear. And this, I cannot get rid of this. By the way, you cannot get rid of artifacts, so this is a death sentence if you take it by mistake. Which, by the way, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're toast. We're toast. It's over. Uh, well. It's over. Music! Music! He's even in a stance. And he's dead. Boom! And we're dead. Okay. We go here. Whoop. We go... You can deal three damage randomly. Do it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You got a kill. Very nice. Took three damage. One, two, and three. You're taking 12, so you might as well go down a hero. Whoop. One, two, three. Yep, you can die, hero, as I said. And uh, here, let's try to kill this guy. And... Let's bring the metal coffin! <laughs> I like the coffin, though. I like this, uh, this thing here. I don't know how you could revive your characters. And also, I like the fact that after some people die, your deck becomes quote-unquote better. Um, well, I'm taking seven, so I'm literally surviving. I can do one... Two, three. I I don't like the fact that this ability does seven but heals four. I disagree with that. I disagree with the wording uh, forcing me, locking me into this. This thing saying and gain up to four health. That part's not fun. So here, uh, what is your stance? Double cast, two power charges at the start of the turn. Yeah, well I don't care. We kill this guy. We go here. Well, actually, I would take one less damage if I didn't do play it like the way I did. What does he? What did he do? Nothing. Six and three. Guys, did we find an infinite? Did we find a way to cheese this game? You know that cheese is the, the way, right? You do less damage because your ally dies. I did not play this correctly. I did play this correctly. You know why? Because I wanted to farm all health. Farming health is how we're gonna do this. I got this. Support only. Support only, I'm telling you. Gain two energy charges if no attacks are played in a round. Useless. Gain two energy charges when no attacks are played in a round. Here. It's yours. It's yours, my dude. It's yours. Maybe I should have gone for the 50 gold. Let's go for the item. Event. Mysterious event. I mean, this is like the only mysterious event on the whole map. No, there is another one here. I'm gonna go for... Oh, there is a chest there, though. Let's go in the equipment. I need to find something that's gonna save the one. There's one card to hold at the end of each turn. Hmm. 
Uh, I guess. Can I replace this? Yeah. Actually, no. Let him die again and again. I don't care. I prefer to have my super healer. Let's see how long we can run this with the super healer. You know, because people... We are a capella now. A capella is always nice. We take eight. We're not gonna take eight. We're gonna take less. Because we have the this thing. So, power charge. First. Um, three weakness charges, by the way. Not who has indicated. This guy is gonna boost his power. I think this guy is a DPS. This is a support. Oh, if we take too many debuffs, we're gonna get toasted. But I need to take as little damage as possible. Can I kill anybody? 4 plus 7 is 13. He has 13. Arrivederci. It's removing from the equation. For some reason, I did not calculate something correctly. Uh, I don't ever care about this, to be honest. I care about other debuffs. Are they just damaging? No, this 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 is a debuff I care about. Uh, which is gonna kill us, by the way. Uh, he's not doing anything. Let's make him do less. I don't know what I should remove first. I'm still healing 4 per round. I'm gonna take 6. This is bad. This is really bad. Now I'm gonna take 2 more from everything. Oof, he's buffing. We were lucky. Continue getting 3 per round. Uh, you die. You die. And he literally does nothing. Now he also dies. Because we're always stacking damage. Plus 3 damage. Uh, pierce everything. Actually, you know what? First, let's make sure we heal. And now we kill him. Easy win. Easy win. So, if I survive 3 rounds, I'm good to go. <laughs> let's see what cards we get. Uh-huh. By the way, I can continue forcing what I'm doing. Uh, cleanse debuffs from a single ally and exhaust. It's a one-time thing, though. Select a card from the exhaust pile and put it on top of the draw pile. Cleanse debuffs is a good thing. If push comes to shove. Do I need it? Do I need it? Let's go with money. I'm not sure how strong debuffs exist, but we're gonna go with money. Continue in the middle, man. We got the combo down. We got the combo down. 7, 12, oh, buffs? Yeah, buff each other, guys. Buff each other. Nothing possibly could go possibly wrong. Uh, okay, this is 11 damage. I don't know what I was calculating the turn before. Uh, you know what? I would say like this, make this guy not do anything. These guys are gonna buff themselves. What do you do? You 3 damage to the attacker if this character or any ally is killed. You know what? Let's get rid of some people. Let's go. Zero. Buff. Buff. In power charge each time this character takes armor. Okay, we go with power. Okay, we go with... Uh, we are about to take 11. Okay, you do not do 11 to us. Yeah, I don't care. And uh, he's about to do one. I need to get rid of the last guy first. Actually, why? I don't need to do anything. I can do whatever I want. I take seven. Next turn I kill two people. First one being the last one. That heal was irrelevant. Or charge. Now I do 11 with the one tag and 8 with the other. Uh, kill the last person. 11. You toast. You will do 3 damage to us, I know. But otherwise I would take 6. I, I take 6 instead of 9 because uh, he doesn't trigger his ability at the end of the round. And this is a win. That's how you actually beat the game. Music only. Music only. A cappella, man. It's it's the classic band where the where the singer just goes ahead and creates his own band. I don't need this. You know, on power charge, you time a card useless. Heal for health to a single ally. This is a one-time thing for one. No mana. 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 And when I say mana, I mean gold, money. Both start with M. Where are we time-wise? Food 9 minutes. 
This character does one damage and takes one damage on all attacks. Skip. Now that I know what it does, skip. Uh, again? Apply Corrosion. Remove a card from a deck. No. Gain one energy on kill. Team energy. Ah. First of all, I will take this. To start stacking faster. Yeah. Apply Corrosion on hit is decent. I mean, I'm doing two attacks per turn. Energy on kill, not really useful when you have only two attacks. And I had three, three attacks that you use all three of them. And these things are also really useless. So we go with Corrosion. And I obviously don't need to remove anything from the deck. And uh, let's go. Heal before the boss. Exact. No, no, I don't need these trash people with my team. I don't need those people on us. Guys, and now they're gonna trash my deck with uh, exhausted cards, right? When they're dying. No! The massive drummer enjoys throwing waves of minions at your band and will destroy its own backup to get to you. A weak singer that can't hold a note alone but can power up its entire team. Dude, we're chasing down these guys. What is this guy doing? Two to everybody. Shield and heal and stuff. This guy's about to shield the boss. This guy's about to buff the first three units. I have to kill this guy right away. No! No, I don't need this trash. Mm, this guy's taking two. Disappointment. Let's go here. This might sound look insane, but I'm gonna do it. What do you do? Gain three power charges when this character slays an ally. Boop. 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 This guy cannot even use his own uh, his own stance. I mean, so damage is taken or a new stance is applied. <laughs> That's so bad. Whoop. Uh, I got not enough attack. I didn't get enough attack, man. You got three armor? I don't even know what to do. Here. Uh, shield her too. And turn. Draw pile. Assign hold at, at most one card. This one. Blocked. I want the back team to die. <laughs> okay. What is this? Are you insane? Okay, we obviously go full on on her. He's dead. Yeah, he's like completely dead. We go with Augment. We go with Curse the Backline because it's insane. And we go with 8 damage to the front so it dies. And pass. I am going to creep the... Can I keep this? Exhaust. Exhaust when played or automatically at the end of the turn. No, it's not gonna stay. Let's keep this. Although it doesn't matter. Oh, he's not... He's not dead, right? Locked. Yep, you're dead, I know. I'm gonna draw this thing every turn. Fatigue. Uh... Yeah, we power you up. Imagine that. 11 damage. We give you a shield. We... Kill this. Nice. Uh, you might as well do this. Did he have something that made his things cost zero? In 20 charges, if no attacks are played in the round. I don't know why his things cost zero. Well, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, take a hit from him. No, actually take a hit for her. I don't care about that guy. If anything, I want to get rid of them. Man, that they got healed is really bad. Uh, power yourself up. ID buffs. Nice. She now applies Corrosion too, by the way. Here and here. Whatever, man. Keep whatever. It doesn't really matter. Here, the Rage Attack. 
Yeah, he wants to spawn something. Two units. Oh no. Oh no. 15 damage. This guy's dead. This guy does nothing now. Um, yeah, well, debuff the boss. Why does his card cost zero? I don't know what exactly happened. Mm, I don't have enough, so... Damage the boss... Damage the boss now. Shield her yourself, I guess. Do this. I still need to get rid of them to go faster through this fight. It's insane. <laughs> Lose your characters to play better. Power yourself up. Okay, this time you can one-shot this guy. And continue making the boss do nothing. And pass. I'll keep this and see what happens. It actually stays. Okay, we go here. We go here. We go here. Might as well do this. I want at least him to die, man. At least he has to die. At least. So that I have two units that I can use and less cards to draw. He has two cards in the deck, I think. He has the strum. Let me double check. Oh, these are exile. He has the strum, the crushing roar, and the strum, and they are gonna become both. Uh, not both. One of them is going to become that he's dead. As far as I understand, that's how it works. Our card. 19 damage insta kill. 22 damage insta kill. Yeah, <laughs> that's how we roll. End turn. Keep this. Yeah, he's minus 9. The boss is not gonna do again damage, ever. Yeah, and now now the problem arises. Look at this. What is this? Take him... Make him do... Take more damage. Here, damage. Keep this. I don't wanna draw it. Keep it in my hand forever. Although that doesn't make sense ever. You should always keep cards that do something. It's, it doesn't make sense to keep cards that don't do anything. Might as well send it in the deck and draw it. Instead of sending something good in the deck and drawing it later. Man, this fight would be so faster. So faster. Here, draw. Keep this. So faster. So faster. Once again, it would have been so faster. Uh, he's about to buff the team. He's about to do 3 damage. You know what? Yeah. If the drummer dies, we're golden. Drummer is the best thing that could die for us. Whatever, keep the stance. Come on, take 3 damage. Nice, drummer's closing into death. Explosion. Three damage the front. That's not okay. I mean, the drummer has the stance, so. I want to damage the boss. Here, do the one two. I forgot to do the one two. In turn. I keep the one two. Got three damage to the drummer. Very nice. Drummer's still alive. This is. We get rid of the drummer to win the fight. This is so stupid. I guess this thing is uh, what's doing this. Gain two energy charges if no attacks are played. Choose one card. I don't know. If somebody knows, just comment down below. I mean, I'm reading every single comment, so I will see. It's uh, it's unbelievable that it's better to lose your characters than to actually have them in the fight. Yeah, now we're rolling. Now we're rolling instant quick. Look at this. 29. Boop, you're dead. I could have kept him alive in the end. Whoa, he's crazy. The explosion. Victory. Thanks for playing Power Code. And we won. Destroy the Chronomancer. The Chrono the Chronocaster before the demons find it. So you can stop this skipping record. 
complete challenges to unlock new abilities and gear. And uh, unlock additional band members, each with their own unique decks and abilities. Yeah, we found how to cheese the game. Yo, Dev, if you see this, please don't nerf this thing. Please don't nerf it. Please. I mean, I found something. Please don't nerf it, man. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the only way to actually do what I just did is to, um, to have three, four or five cards in your deck. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much the only way. And it only worked with the support. So the support has to die actually last for this to work. So I don't know. And you also have to have the reduce enemy stats because you start with a drain. So that's not hard, but you have to have the um, reduce enemy stats. Otherwise, um, the, at some point, they will out damage you. So yeah, because they will stack stats. And I also had the record twice. So yeah, I had a bunch of stuff that made this work. It wasn't 100% uh, sure. Because normally you would just have the deal for damage, heal for, and uh, and uh, do do two more damage, two, two more power. And I had get three more power, actually four more power. I had get four more power each turn. And the enemies lose four power. And that also does damage. And then I also had the heal. So I had a bunch of stuff that actually made this work. I don't know how this would be in the life game. Uh, I mean... If, if the life game allows you to cheese stuff like that, the game will become awesome, I think. If, if, if the life game actually is harder than hard and extremely hard, because at some point, like in the fight before we lost everybody, uh, actually in the, in, in the, at the fight where we actually lose everybody, the game didn't, felt really, didn't feel really fun because it feels like if, if there are four enemies and four of you, it feels like the enemies do almost the same that you do, the same stuff that you do, but better because they start with a bunch of armor and uh, you start with a bit. I mean, you start with 10 on one person and 5 on the other one and you also don't have a really good way of giving everybody armor. Like, you have one mana, give three armor. Maybe there are better cards. I'm pretty sure there are better cards. Maybe there are better cards, but how, how better will they be? Like... One man, I give five armor. One man, I give six armor. One man, I give ten armor and exhaust. How strong would it be? And the enemies, when they gave armor, they gave five to everybody. And uh, they they were doing four stuff. The one the one enemy does uh, one to every one of your characters. The other one gives five armor to all the enemy team. The other one is uh, doing a stance that gives him plus one power return. They, they 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 the enemies seem to do stuff like you do, but just better. Um, I think the easy fix would be to just give us one more energy if if we had one more energy maybe two more energy but if if we have five energy per turn instead of four maybe i see a way out but right now it feels like enemies do more than you do and the moment they are actually at the same amount of people that you have you're toast and um yeah that's it pretty much so if 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 the if the cheese ner get nerfed please please buff the mana or something i don't know I don't know. I have to play the game a bit more to see. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it. I hope you guys like it. If you did, maybe drop a like. And um, thanks for the key, by the way. And uh, I think that's it pretty much. I would like to hear some opinions on the game. I mean, the game was fun, but there is nothing more to show. So that's it. I think, I think the game is out. And uh, I played the demo Early Access something version. Early Access launches in December. Oh, cool. I played a complete demo. I mean, if you guys like the game, you can search about it. It's not that hard. Uh, I will have a link in the description in the Steam page, obviously, but you can search more for, for it if you want to learn stuff about it, if you like it. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and see you guys around.